Try to hold that arm finish with your arms long, okay? So, Blake, this is starting out today. You said you're hitting it terrible, and I can see why there, buddy. That gotten way over the top there. Real canted in a funny way, see, with your backbone. Like that at the start of the downswing. So that's and the same thing with the iron. See at the start of the downswing, your backbone is tilted that way. And like the Tinker Toy shows us, you don't want that on the downswing. And so first couple swings. You got a little closer to the plane line, but that torso was so out of whack, I really wanted to work on that. There you go, buddy. That looks sweet. That torso looked a lot better there. And that looks, yeah, not great there, but that was better. And then here it started getting better in terms of the torso. Much better there. Yep, that's much better there. And then here, all the more. There you go, buddy. There's that right shoulder lower through impact. That right shoulder getting lower there in the follow through because you're turning it under more instead of getting it high. And again, this look, the contrast of the two. Right, here's the better stuff where at this point the backbone is more like that blue line instead of here the backbone is more like this yellow line. Big difference there, buddy. That's more where you want to be over there on our right. That's a little bit more what it's starting to look like here with this from this angle. This is Joel Suggs. I sure enjoyed meeting you down at the Cincinnati Golf Show this weekend and showing you your swing on the 2D equipment that I have. And so I want to take about two or three minutes to just show you around metal length. This is the studio I use in the winter for all my students. You see there's the down the line camera angle for our 2D equipment. And then we have the face on camera angle also. And then what we also have here is 3D equipment to where I can show you your swing from six different camera angles with this 3D equipment and we can get your swing from down to the 120th of a, one one hundred twentieth of a second in terms of exactly what your hips, shoulders, and hands are doing in the swing. And then also, we, I have the most realistic hitting curve I've ever seen from PutterZ.com. So when you hit your full shots, it feels as realistic as possible. And then I have three different green speeds for you to practice your putting. 9.5 on the step meter, 10.5 on the step meter, and 12.5 on the step meter. That's benefited my students tremendously. And then also I have a lot of learning aids like this smart stick. You can see the rest of those learning aids over here in my bag that we can work on to help you learn the certain fields in the golf swing that you and I both want. And then also I help my students a lot with their equipment through the winter. This is a frequency analyzer where we twang your club and it gives us a reading here. And then also we plot your whole set each club on this, these lines to see if the set is really matched or not. Quite often they aren't, and it helps my students tremendously when they find out what clubs are the offending clubs. And then if we get tired of being indoors and we want to go outdoors and get time, we can do that. It's my daughter. Ellie, good to see you. I haven't seen her in weeks. <laughs> no wonder you've been gone, Ellie. You've been out here playing in the snow all this time. But this is our natural turf area. This is closed until April, as you can see, uh, but it's a fantastic area where we can step outside and hit some balls and get some real ball flight. Or, if we get pretty satisfied and things are looking better on the video here, we're kind of cooped up inside and want to go outside, we can step on out and hit balls and see real ball flight for about five or 10 or 15 minutes, however long you and I can stand the cold, out into the air, and we see them land at these different flags. I have a yardage book for this driving range. It's the first one I've ever seen in my life where we know exactly what it is with the front, back, and middle of each green. And again, the covered area here is heated. So we stay out there for about 5, 10, 15 minutes, like I said, 
It may, enables us to see some ball flight, and then we get satisfied that things are looking the way we want, and we can come back inside, take off our coat, and look again at the video equipment to see how your swing's looking, to make sure that you understand it. And then notice too, my exercise ball up top here, and then also, so I help my students a lot with their fitness through the winter, and then I will help you also with your sports psychology, with your golf psychology from the golf psych dot com people down in Texas. That's helped my students tremendously a lot over the years too. So again, I sure enjoyed meeting you down at the Cincinnati Golf Show this weekend. I look forward to seeing you again out here this summer at Meadowlinks or even right now in the winter. I have a lot of people that work on their games with me right through the winter. Check out more information about the things I do to help you at joelsuds.com. Take care.